Showdown in Sin City Chiefs and Raiders clash in AFC West battle. The lights were bright on a Saturday night in Las Vegas. The Raiders hosted their rivals, the Kansas City Chiefs. This AFC West showdown had major playoff implications. The Chiefs aimed to solidify their position. The Raiders needed a win desperately. The tension was palpable. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense took the field with their usual swagger. They marched down the field with precision and purpose. The Raiders' defense had other plans. They forced a turnover on downs, giving Raider Nation a reason to erupt in cheers. The Raiders' offense couldn't capitalize on the momentum. They punted the ball back to the Chiefs after a quick three and out. The Chiefs' offense then found their rhythm, scoring on a Travis Kelsey touchdown reception. This game was just getting started, but it was clear the Chiefs came to play. The Raiders needed to find a spark. Buckle up, folks, because this AFC West battle was just heating up. Mahomes makes history, 30,000 yards and counting for the star QB. Patrick Mahomes is used to making history. On this night in Las Vegas, he added another milestone to his already impressive resume. Early in the second quarter, Mahomes hit Travis Kelsey on a crossing route. Kelsey rumbled for extra yards, and just like that, Mahomes eclipsed 30,000 career passing yards. The achievement was remarkable. Mahomes reached the milestone faster than any quarterback in NFL history. He made it look easy, slicing and dicing the Raiders' defense with his usual blend of athleticism and pinpoint accuracy. The crowd in Las Vegas, even the Raider faithful, acknowledged the accomplishment. A smattering of cheers could be heard as Mahomes dapped up his teammates. Reaching this milestone in such a hostile environment made the feat even more impressive. Mahomes, as always, remained focused on the ultimate goal winning the game. He knew there was still a lot of football left to play. He wouldn't let this individual accomplishment distract him from the task at hand. Kelsey keeps climbing. Tight end reaches another milestone in win. It was a night for milestones in Vegas. Not to be outdone by his quarterback, Travis Kelsey etched his name into the record books as well. Kelsey's second touchdown of the night, a leaping grab in the back of the end zone, gave him 100 receiving touchdowns for his career. This incredible feat solidified Kelsey's place among the greatest tight ends in NFL history. His connection with Mahomes was on full display all night. They seemed to be unstoppable, picking apart the Raiders' defense with ease. Kelsey's impact went beyond the stat sheet. He was a vocal leader on the field, constantly encouraging his teammates. His energy was infectious, and it rubbed off on the entire Chiefs' offense. As the game wore on, Kelsey continued to be a thorn in the side of the Raiders. He was a matchup nightmare, too big for defensive backs and too fast for linebackers. His performance was a masterclass in tight end play. Section 4. The Stand Chiefs' defense holds strong at the goal line. The Raiders, desperate for a momentum swing, found themselves deep in Chiefs' territory early in the third quarter. A Josh Jacobs run brought them to the three-yard line. The black hole was rocking, sensing a chance to get back in the game. The Chiefs' defense had other ideas. They stiffened, refusing to break under the pressure. The Raiders ran three straight plays, each one stuffed at the line of scrimmage. The crowd, which had been deafening moments earlier, fell silent. This goal line stand was a turning point in the game. It showed the resilience of the Chiefs' defense, a unit often overshadowed by their explosive offense. It also took the wind out of the sails of the Raiders, who had squandered a golden opportunity. After the game, Mahomes praised the defense, saying, they won us that game. That goal line stand was huge. They played with so much heart and grit. Section 5, Silver and Black Struggles, Raiders. Falter in crucial divisional matchup. The Raiders, despite a valiant effort, couldn't overcome their offensive struggles. The running game, usually a strength, sputtered against a stout Chiefs defensive front. Josh Jacobs, the heart and soul of the Raiders' offense, was held in check all night. Gardner Minshew, filling in for the injured Jimmy Garoppolo, showed flashes of brilliance. However, he couldn't make enough plays to keep pace with Mahomes and the Chiefs' offensive juggernaut. Turnovers proved costly, as the Raiders gave the ball away three times. The Raiders' defense, while valiant, simply couldn't contain the Chiefs' offensive firepower. They bent but didn't break for most of the night, but the dam eventually burst. The Chiefs were too much to handle. 
After the game, a visibly frustrated Raiders coach, Antonio Pierce, lamented the missed opportunities, saying, We had our chances. We just didn't execute when we needed to. We gotta be better. Section 6. Looking Ahead Playoff picture takes shape as season enters crucial stretch. The Chiefs' victory solidified their position atop the AFC West. They continued to prove why they were the team to beat in the conference. With Mahomes at the helm and a defense finding its stride, the Chiefs looked poised for another deep playoff run. The Raiders, on the other hand, were left licking their wounds. The loss was a major blow to their playoff aspirations. With the season winding down, they needed to find answers quickly if they wanted to keep their postseason hopes alive. The Chiefs headed home to prepare for a tough matchup against the Los Angeles Chargers. The Raiders, desperate for a win, faced a must-win game against the Denver Broncos. The AFC West remained a dogfight, with each game carrying significant playoff implications. As the season entered the home stretch, one thing was clear. The race for the playoffs was going to be a wild ride. Buckle up, folks, because the NFL season is just getting started.